Hey guys, welcome to Bastion Time. This is This Week in Nintendo News. I'm your host, Bastion, and I was attacked by a murderous tree this week. So for the first time in a very long time, this whole video is just Nintendo-specific news. Uh, I covered all the Zelda stuff in that last video, so we can just focus on Nintendo for once in the Nintendo News video. A uh, novel idea. Let's get to the stories now. So first of all, um, HMV uh, has this poster, or had this poster and their stores. Um, anybody who is familiar with uh, the Bastion Rant video that I did might remember that this image on this poster is not from Nintendo themselves, because you will notice that it has the circle, uh, the uh, second circle pad on it, and this is a mock-up done by a blogger because they were kind of complaining about how they felt like Nintendo should have included the second circle pad on the uh, XL version of the 3DS, but they didn't. Um, so how the heck HMV got that image and put it on this poster and then started putting these posters in their stores with an infographic thing advertising the fact that there is now this supposed second circle ad on the 3DS XL, I have no idea. Um, since then, since the story kind of blew up and, and they became aware of that they made a huge, huge error, um, they've now taken down those posters in their stores and said, whoops, we don't know how that happened, but thanks. Our next couple stories are about humorous uh, accidental leaks that turned out to not really be. Um, first of all, Sega posted uh, a thing talking about how this one game was going to release uh, for the, three, six, the Xbox 360 and the PlayStation 3 and the Wii U in November. And then everybody was like, oh my gosh, that means that we know for sure that the Wii U will be out this November. And uh, everybody was very excited. And then Sega said, whoops, we didn't mean to include Wii U in there. The Wii U version will be out around its launch date, but we don't know when that is exactly. So, um... Yeah, good job, Sega. And then the next gaffe comes from Nintendo themselves. Uh, they said, um, they've always been saying that New Super Mario Bros. U will be launched uh, with the Wii U. And maybe not packaged in with it, but it will be a launch title because they understand that it's very important to release a Mario title at launch for it. Um, so then, out of nowhere, a Nintendo representative just recently said, New Super Mario Bros. U will uh, launch sometime shortly after the Wii U. So everybody was a little worried that we wouldn't be getting a Mario title at launch like they said that we were originally, but Nintendo has since rescinded that and said, oh, don't worry, never mind, the date actually hasn't changed. Our next story comes from the Game Studio 5th Cell, um, and they went on record as saying that they're very frustrated at all of the uh, rumors going around trying to claim that the Wii U is not as powerful as the Xbox 360. They say that's absurd, they've been working with the Wii U, and that it is, uh, it is definitely, uh, what's the exact quote from them? It's definitely more powerful than the Xbox 360, and that they just find it bizarre that people are making all of these rumors trying to claim that it isn't. Um, so. That's a nice reassurance, because even though we hear the majority of developers saying, of course it's more powerful than the Xbox 360, every once in a while we have uh, one anonymous source claiming that it is less powerful, which would make no sense. So it's good to know that those anonymous people are wrong, and that the people going on the record are in the majority saying, yeah, of course it's more powerful than the 360. Our next bit of news is just a quick little news story letting us know that the 3DS has now sold over 5 million units, and good job, 3DS. Um, that's also very amusing to me because, of course, before the 3DS released, there were all those naysayers insisting that it was not going to sell well at all, and that, of course, the Vita, whether the PlayStation Vita was going to overpower it and take all of the, the handheld consumers, but that turned out to be the opposite of the case, um, and we shouldn't really be surprised considering how well the DS sold. Um, so, of course, now those same naysayers are trying to say the same sorts of things about the Wii U, but we'll just have to look at the DS and the Wii and the 3DS and realize Nintendo's doing just fine. Speaking of naysayers, there's an analyst out there um, who 
is really focused on the video game uh, arena, and his name is Prasher, and he's often very negative about Nintendo. He he, he just says that he analyzes the data, and from the data, he's certain that Nintendo's going to fail, and that the Wii U is going to fail, and, and all of these ridiculous things. And one of the most recent things that he said is that Activision forced Nintendo to make the Pro Controller, because otherwise nobody would be designing games, they wouldn't, Activision wouldn't design any games for it. Which is not only absurd, but also untrue. Uh, and he has since admitted that that is not a fact that he learned, that's not anything anybody told him from Activision or from Nintendo. That's simply something that he's assuming uh, based on details that he's put together, but uh, it's sort of silly. So that's it for this week in Nintendo news. There was actually going to be another news story. Um, but, uh, just like last week, it's such a big thing and I want to rant about it so much that I can't fit it into this, so it will be its own Bastion Rant video in a couple days, so stay tuned for that, see you guys then, bye!